All right, hey everyone, it's Rex Hurst, author of What Hell May Come, a horror, a horror novel about the satanic panic and what if it was all true. It's a fun little book. Um, played played a little bit with the uh, text and so forth. And it's only about, how long is it? 263 pages. And it's a lot of fun. It's starting to pick up a little bit of steam. Anyway, I wasn't planning on doing another video today until I got this box in the mail last night. And you can see I scraped my knuckle getting it out of the... Uh, <sighs> out of the uh, the mailbox. The problem is our mailboxes are really narrow here. And you have to open it up with a key. And it fits in when they put the box into the thing. And then there's this little ledge right there. So you can't get the damn thing out. So you have to twist it around. And I scrape my knuckle on it. Anyway. This is from Heavy Metal Magazine. I completely forgot that I ordered the damn stuff. These things. Um, they're doing a sale right now of a lot of back issues, especially a lot of their um, graphic novels they put out. Normally, I felt a lot of their stuff was overpriced, but now that I saw the sale, I went through, and they've got a lot of stuff, back issues, a lot of back issue stuff that they put out in like the 90s and the late 1980s that they're selling pretty cheap. And then there was one that I saw that I, I've always wanted to get, never gotten around to it because I'm very cheap like that on my tight ass. So, here's my unboxing video of pretty much a bunch of graphic novels I forgot I ordered from Heavy Metal. And give it a whirl. I paid, all of these are under, or $5 or under. Alright, so, this has tape here. I already started taking the tape off. So, let's take a look at the inside. Okay, we got some paper wrapping it up, which is very nice. And... <laughs> Oh, each thing is individually wrapped in uh, brown paper, just like old-fashioned pornography back in the 1950s and 60s. I believe up in the 70s, too, my father used to get little packages like this, so you couldn't tell what they were, except the only things that came in these were pornography, so you immediately knew what it was. Just like an open container law, I guess. Anyway, what's this first one here? I don't even know why the hell I got this. Oh, I, got, I bought this because it was goddamn cheap, that's why. Because it's like $2. This is the illustrated story of 1941. If you remember, that was that lousy movie that uh, half the original SNL cast was in back in 1983. The, the original title was called And When the Japs Attacked. And <laughs> those are fun. Jesus. That does not know how to do a woman's stomach, I'll tell you that. Anyway. This is the novelization of 1941, which is a terrible movie. And any of you who are younger than Generation X, you probably never heard of, which is just as well. Yeah, you forget that most of these SNL characters, when they leave SNL and start doing movies, most of those movies are terrible and completely forgettable. But it was like two bucks, so I figured, what the hell? And maybe this would actually be better. I do like the art. I really love the art here. I think it's well done. And maybe it's better off as a graphic novel than as a thing. But you can see you got John Belushi there. Yeah, the only thing anyone remembers John Belushi for any nowadays is what? Animal House and uh, The Blues Brothers. Right, but he was in a bunch of other films too that were terrible. Yeah, try watching him in Neighbors with Dan Aykroyd. Alright, next we have... Dum the Age of Darkness by Kaza. Picked this up again. I picked this up on a whim, but I looked at the art and I said, why not? It's under five bucks and it's beautiful. I mean, it's beautifully drawn, beautifully written. I have no idea what it's about. I'll let you know that later on. But I figured uh, I'm totally worth it. It's over 100 pages. Yeah, it's about 100 pages of material, 104 pages for like $5. Um, originally from, I don't know, Belgium, France. It seems that most of, this, most of the material comes from, could be Germany. But I think, you know, I've seen this guy's stuff before, and I think he's French. Pretty sure. All right, next we have, oh, this is a hardcover. And this is, I have no idea. This is a heavy metal kitchen sink crossover. This is for kitchen sink done by Dennis Kitchen, who uh, rose up in the 70s by doing a spirit reprints. 
and got big in the 80s and 90s and then collapsed in the late 90s when everything else collapsed. Um, just putting on material. Uh, this is one of these albums. And again, what does this originally go for? It goes for 15 bucks. So I got it for like, I believe I got this for like $3.99. I have no idea what it's about. Just saw that it was hardcover. looked interesting. The problem is, like a lot of these ones that you're, you're going to find there, it's volume one. It means it's not the complete damn story. And it wasn't popular enough for them to print volume two. So I'm just getting this part of the story. Unless I want to learn the French and go back and do that. I might do that because uh, they only printed in Heavy Metal Magazine. My favorite one was The Waters of Dead Moon. They only printed the first five volumes of that in English. All the rest uh, were in French, and there were ten volumes of it. Though, you could see why they stopped it after the first five. I think he picked it up again some years later. But the art is nice. The art's very nice. A little cartoony. A little cartoony, only almost, I'd say, Mobius meets Tintin. Kind of a <laughs> crossover. But it looks it looks good enough. It definitely catch my interest. I'll enjoy reading it. Next we have another, oh, another hardcover. Oh, oh, well, <laughs> this is what uh, Heavy Metal was always classic for. They put out all those, the porn uh, comics. This is, happy. okay, again, this is, uh, originally goes for $16.95. You get it for less than five now, Flesh Wounds. Graphic novel, complete graphic novel by Franz Henkel and Mike Melodolo, whatever. Looks decent enough. Pseudo Marinara. She less than Pseudo Marinara. It's got to do a little bit of work there. I don't know if this is porn or not, but it looks to be plenty of tits. A lot of nudity. She's getting a tattoo on her back. Don't know anything about that. Again, I picked this up at random. Eh, the art's a little off. Not that great. But uh, I think it's worth the price. Maybe the story makes up for it. And I've seen I've seen a lot better work come out of heavy metal than this. I don't know why they decided to print this one, except for it looks somewhat sexy. That's what it usually sells for them. Uh, I didn't get all the books they were having on sale. They had a lot of art books, um, a lot of sketchbooks too, which I like art, but I'm not a um, what do you call it? I'm not a student of art, as it were. So I don't bother with the sketchbooks. I like to see the merger together. Uh, there we go. Another one, Horatio Altuna, Jorge Gonzalez, out of Spain, most likely, or South America, though they really didn't do, usually do a lot of South America. Black and white, though the style, very stylistic, still well done, looks good, looks interesting at least, looks like a familiar style, I think I've seen this style, this guy before, this artist before at least. Probably in some back issues of heavy metal. You know how it is. Um, a lonely pimp, a girl on the street. The night turns bloody. Love stories are not always sweet. Ah, oh, how nice. Oh, that sounds good. Almost, that sounds French more than... Uh, <laughs> more than South American, more than Mexican. Who knows? Where does it take place? I usually tell you right at the beginning. Um, oh, well. Still, again, picked it up. It was worth it. And again... Problem is, I hate these things. It's twelve ninety five. They slap, but the problem is, they artificially inflate the price by slapping a gra you know hardcover on this. There's no need for a hardcover of this, especially when the when you don't have the soft cover option. They just do it so they can jack up an extra five six bucks on the thing. Another hardcover, and then of course they're going into liquidation. So now they got to find ah, and again the infamous Milo Marinara. With his big titted women. This is loads of fun. I think I got two of these from what I remember. Fatal Rendezvous. Don't know anything about it. But I got it cheap. And of course, this is your standard phone our sex scenes. <laughs> TNA. I've read plenty of, uh, I've seen plenty of Modern Hour in Heavy Metal Magazine. Over and then page after page. After page, after page. <laughs> Just, oh, it's a beautiful woman in a sea of older men 
who want to abuse her and use her, and she has to find her way out. I haven't read the book, but I'm pretty sure that's what it's about, because that's uh, it's mostly about half of my an hour's work right there. But, wow, I got a lot. <laughs> I remember I pay less than 30 for it, so all right. Oh, this is what I saw. I wasn't going to buy anything until I saw that they were putting out a Lone Sloan by Droulette, whose art is just absolutely amazing. And then I saw I could get this. I think this is the one I paid the most for. I think I paid like six bucks for it, but... As it goes for sixteen ninety five, I think I got a deal, especially brand new. And I love Droulette's art. Um, just look at that beautiful stuff, especially the Lone Saloon. The first book was amazing. Um, style is different here, and Lone Saloon science fiction stories are more science fantasy. They don't make too much sense, but you're but you're looking for the way it drifts along, and just the beauty of the art overwhelms everything else. Hell, this is one of the guys whose art book I probably just buy on to, on its own. One of the few ones well, it's finished material. See, look at this. That's just absolutely uh, incredible. I think the first one was actually better, though. No, let's take a look. Yeah, you see, stuff like this. It's just, it's just, look at this, beautiful, beautiful work. Like this, too. Look at that, see? I mean, so you sort of drift along in the story. and Don't worry too much if it's uh, a little, doesn't make much sense. Because you're just, you're just here to just, just drink it all in and admire it. And, um, yeah, yeah, this is, yeah, if you get a chance, you're going to do it. we got a nice splash page going here. I mean, this is, this is the book you want to get. Absolutely incredible. Absolutely incredible. You know, I only came upon him later on, like about five years ago. I have no idea why I didn't know about him earlier. Uh, that's that's my biggest fear. I'm always afraid that I'm, not, I'm, I'm missing out on the best in life. I'm constantly trying new things, which is good and bad. Oh, look at that. Look at that. That is just absolutely incredible. Oh, yeah. All right. So... Last but not least, we have, I think this is, a sleazy sex book. This is, oh, look, uh, <laughs> Jodorowsky and Marinara, Borgia, Power and Incest. And, of course, this is their total exploitation. As Jodorowsky is known for being cleanless like that, Marinara, like this. But the problem is, this is volume two. This is the one I always wanted to buy in the past, but I didn't want I always bought the paint, 15 bucks for it. For what I didn't know was going to be good material or whatever. Oh, and there is what's his face. Oh, and there's the Pope having sex with his daughter, as it was rumored to. Oh, wait, maybe not. That's it. That's, that's her husband. That's her husband, she later kind of claimed was uh, impotent. And then, yeah, they had sex in front of a whole bunch. This is based, that's actually based on a real thing. They did that. He had to watch his daughter having sex. Um, but this is The Borgias, subject to two television show. One called The Borgias, the other just called Borgia. The one called Borgia is the best one. It's on Netflix. Um, but this is more of the sexual thing. This is, of course, about the Pope, Alexander the Sixth. And Marinara's art is always is impeccable. Don't expect too much, let's say, historical accuracy. You know, they don't... <laughs> it, 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 they, they sacrifice it for historical exploitation. But I always wanted to get these. Never could find a decent price for them. Um, but you can get these for like five bucks, at least this one. The problem is there's three volumes, and this is the second one. On uh, HeavyMetal.com. So, that's it. Remember to like, subscribe to my channel if you prefer, if you like the content, or I'll come back with more material on obscure books, stuff to read during the current crisis in comic books where there's nothing but trash left over. Nothing but trash being produced. <sighs> Delve into the past, find some great stuff, and while you're at it, buy a copy of What Hell May Come by Rex Hurst. All right, thanks. Have fun.